Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. Today that you're seeing this is Sunday, July the 3rd. Uh, I'm filming it on Saturday the 2nd because uh, I have time to do it today. But this is Stitcher Library. I'm not sure what number this is. I always forget, but it's always in the title. <laughs> but uh, so that's where you get a library or a pattern that's been living in your library uh, a while and use it, whether it's a PDF or um, a book or whatever. <laughs> um, and you, yeah, uh, make it <laughs> finally. So this is a pattern I purchased from Etsy. Um, a little while ago it's been in my dropbox for a while because i've been wanting to use it i was I put it in my dropbox so that i could use it on the computer or on my phone wherever i was sitting at the time but this is a halloween themed thing and i made it for the intention of it being a halloween decoration and uh it turned out huge <laughs> um jesse wants me to make him one so i have to i'm definitely gonna have to use smaller yarn to make his the pattern does call for dk weight yarn but i don't keep enough colors of that on hand to uh, make this, I I have some mandala, which is DK, and I have some little bonbons that are DK, but uh, not the right colors. So I was like, well, I'll just use worsted weight yarn and a G hook, because I used a four millimeter um, hook. And uh, yeah, so here's what I made. <laughs> it is, ta -da! it's a poison apple, but it's huge. <laughs> it's way bigger than an apple. It's almost the size of my head. <laughs> but yeah, I think it turned out really cute, even though it's ginormous. <laughs> And the stem keeps getting straightened out. But, um, yeah, it's called Poison Apple. And the designer's name is, I think it's Fainy Toys, I believe. I'll link it below. I got it off of Etsy. Did I already say that? <laughs> so I used Red Heart Super Saver uh, Cherry Red. And this is Glow Worm, which is a discontinued color, um, which I hate because I love that yarn. And this is some brown. Uh, it was a scrap ball, so it's probably um, coffee maybe. I don't remember. And uh, it's really cute. You start with the green and then you change the red and then you go back later and add the droopy and this part. <laughs> and then the stem is separate, obviously. And um, normally it's supposed to be like apple size. So it was really hard for me to get the stem because you have to put the, um, the yarn tail from the stem through the apple to the bottom and back up to pull it to make give it the little end up here. Uh, that was really hard to do with this apple being so big, but I got it done. I think it's cute. I'm going to use it as a Hummer decoration. Uh, set it on a shelf or something. But it's definitely supposed to be a lot smaller than this. Um, I'm pretty sure the pattern says to use a size 3 yarn and a smaller hook. Um, so it would turn out a lot smaller if I had done that. But uh, yeah. So I'm going to make Jesse one. I'll let him pick out the colors he wants. Um, if he wants colors I don't have, well, I'll have to buy some just for it. But I think it's really cute. I made it kind of like the Snow White one. When it first dipped, it's got like a different color. And then it turns just to a normal apple. Uh, the one on the pattern, I think it's black with purple on it. But you can make it any color you wanted. I just thought it was so cute. And it would be so cute sent somewhere for Halloween. Um, poison apple. <laughs> I just, and I thought I was, it was so funny how big it was turning out. I told Devin, I was like, that's going to be giant. But it's cute. I like it a lot. So that is my Stitch Library. So I also have another pattern by the same designer that I want to make. And it, I think it's called... Um, poison bottles <laughs> and that's what it is it's like poison bottles it's like little bottles of poison so i might be making those soon too to use as decoration for halloween because it's coming up <laughs> and uh i just think it's cute it's so cute but yeah so that's my stitcher library there's a lot of other people who do it i know that terry from your android podcast does it uh priscilla from uh distinctives crochet I don't forget what her name is, <laughs> her channel name. Um, I think Julie just started it from KS Mom Crochet. Um, I think Rebecca from Yarn and Pajamas does it. I can't think of anybody else, but a lot of people are doing it. You can just tap in Stitch Your Library and it'll probably bring up some channel or some videos of it. But yeah, so that was it. And so I'll be starting something else soon for that. <laughs> and I'm in Halloween mood because I started my Halloween countdown. And then I made that, and then I'm thinking about making other things, because um, it's the next major holiday to me. Fourth of July is coming up in just a few days, um, and then there's nothing in August, and then September has Veterans Day, uh, September, and then October, Halloween, so yeah, it's basically Halloween time. <laughs> I put up my Halloween decorations in September, September 1st, usually around there, because I want to enjoy Halloween for a long time, so I enjoy it through September and, uh, October and then usually Hall Halloween night I put down put up all my Halloween decorations and I put up my tree I don't decorate or nothing I just put it up 
and then the next day, November 1st, is when Christmas comes out. <laughs> and then I do Christmas all November through December and sometimes into January. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that's how I do my holidays, <laughs> if you're wondering. I, I don't forget Thanksgiving. I celebrate it with my family, obviously. But, you know, to us, Thanksgiving is just a dinner uh, where you spend time with family. So I don't decorate for it because... I'd rather have um, Christmas stuff up by then. <laughs> but, yeah, so that's my plans this year. I do plan on doing uh, Vlogist in August, which is a month away. Hopefully, because uh, this will be my first vlog a month with a little baby. Uh, I think I did Vlogmas, the Christmas one, when Jesse was about one and a half in 2017. So it was a lot easier. He was able to, you know, play with himself and stuff. So, uh Hopefully June will be sitting up then <laughs> so I can put her on the floor with toys and she can kind of play with toys. Um, so we will see how that will also be really close to when I start homeschooling Jesse for his first grade year. So that'll be fun to document some of that. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. He's excited about it and I think it's going to go pretty good. Uh, but yeah, so I guess I'm just blabbing now. <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and I will see you guys in another video coming up sometime this week. I got some more planned, but whether or not I get around to doing them is the question. <laughs> I'll also be making some bags this week. Uh, just some drawstring bags and some Notion pouches. Some of them will be matching Notion pouches, and some of them are just random ones from past fabrics that I found. <laughs> um, I keep trying to use up my scraps, and then I keep finding more stuff in my shelf. So, um, yeah, but I think I've almost got all my older fabrics used up. So now i got my newer ones, and then it won't be long before I can start doing Halloween and fall-themed uh, prints and then Christmas prints, which I love doing. Um, so yeah, anyways, I will see you guys in another video. I hope you all have a safe holiday weekend if you're celebrating here in the U.S. Uh, and, uh, if you're anywhere else in the world, <laughs> I hope you have a safe weekend anyways and a, a good Monday because <laughs> it's on a Monday this year. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. I will probably vlog on the 4th. I thought about doing like a vlog, um, I haven't done a blog in a while, <laughs> but uh, we'll we'll see. I guess you'll see. I'll see. We'll all see. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.